Metal planters bring a majestic, colorful and an elegant look to your plants. There are kinds of planters available in the market, right from ceramic to terracotta to plastic but none are as durable yet beautiful and very easy to maintain as the metal planters. They do not break or crack and have an astonishingly long life. Before you grow your plant directly in a metal planter, ensure that the pot contains a drainage hole. If it does contain a drainage hole, then add some soil inside. Gently press against the hole. This will allow water to move out when you water your plant, but at the same time retain the soil in the pot. Next, place the plant and fill up the empty space. Voila! Looks great, right? In case your planter does not have a hole like this one here, you can still use it as a catch pot. Grow your plant in a lining pot. The lining pot could be a terracotta pot or it could be just a plastic pot and then you place this inside the metal one. For the perfect fit, always try to choose a smaller plastic pot and a bigger metallic pot. Metallic planters are great for indoors and outdoors use. You can place them on your desk, in your living room, outdoors in your balcony too. However, during intense summers in the sun, the metal planter can heat up. Causing the soil temperature to rise, this may harm the roots of your plant and this is not good for the growth of the plant. Also, the soil will start to dry up quickly outdoors. This will disturb the usual watering frequency. You will have to spend more time caring for your plants, attending to your plants. And in some cases where ornamental plants such as the monsteras, pothos, alocasias, ZZ plant are growing in a metal pot, the temperature spike or the high temperature will definitely hurt your plant and your plant will start to die slowly, you wouldn't even notice. So, either avoid keeping these plants outdoors or use a second lining pot for summers. A lining pot could be a terracotta pot or it could be a plastic pot as well, like this. Metal planters are primarily made of zinc, copper, cast iron, steel with various styling and design options. They can be small, large, with stand, without stand, hanging, for tabletop, with a hole, without a hole and in a range of colors and in a range of prices too. You can buy whichever suits the best your interior space needs and your budget. The only thing you need to be careful of, rather aware of when you buy metal planters is the kind of paint that has been used on top of them. This will determine the longevity of the pots and this is very important with metal pots because when metal, we know, when it comes in contact with moisture, it starts to rust and this reduces the life of the metal surface. The metal planters with powder coated paint have longer life than the regular kind of paint. This is one of the factors that drives the price range in metal pots along with the kind of metal used for the planter. Generally, cast iron metal products are lighter in weight and more durable. You won't get dents easily on them, they are easy to maintain, their life is longer, but they are also on the expensive side. The decision could be yours depending on what is your budget and what you are looking for. To summarize, I think metal planters are a great way to add a hint of color and elegance to your plants. If you don't have any other decor piece in your house, you want to make the plant as a center of attention, go with good quality metal planters. I hope this helps. Do follow us here and do check out our other videos too. Thanks for watching.